Hi guys, I did film a let's play but <laughs> I got a bit too into the game and it took me like an hour or so and I was kind of cheating a little bit so I thought best not to put that on because <laughs> I was sort of cheating which wasn't ideal. I might do a different let's play at some point but sometimes I just get into a game and I completely forget that I'm supposed to be recording because I'm a number two. Um, I was thinking maybe talking about if I may if I vlog at some point and the reasons behind yes or no. Uh, now will I ever vlog? Probably, but not all the time. I won't be a permanent vlogger uh, purely because I won't be able to handle, handle the camera because one of the side effects from one of my tablets is my handshake. And also with the nerve damage, it's not the best the ideal situation. Um, so if we ever, me and my husband ever do vlog, he will be the one behind the camera, not me. Um, so I think. And it's a case of he needs to feel comfortable, I need to feel comfortable. We will probably do it when we do certain things, like if we go into town and we're going to one of the museums, or we're going to one of the gardens of one of the museums or uh, we'll go to Whitby or we'll go if we go anywhere we'll do like a little mini vlog um, and pop it up but like I say it's not going to be every day or once a week because we can't commit to that it's like I've got my head into the space of I'm going to do a video once a week. Um gotta start with once a week and then if I'm feeling up to it I might record a couple at a time and then release them over a couple of days. Um but it's not something I'm gonna be doing all the time feel because it's my life's not that interesting. Um very off very rarely do I actually leave the house. I think usually it's once or twice a week that I go out. Um not only that is a lot of the time we go out we see our friends, we see family and um I don't want to be pushing a camera in front of the face uh primarily because a lot of them are quite private, particularly my brother in law, his wife and my nephew. Um there are some people there are three people you'll never see on on a video of mine. My brother in law um, I doubt, I really doubt it, um, but I don't think it's something that he'd say no to. Um, my sister-in-law and their little boy, not a chance, she's very protective over him, and she's very much aware of people around her. So the last thing I want to be doing is putting a camera in her face, and that's not going to happen. The same with my in-laws, they don't like being on camera, so you're not going to see them. Possibly might be able to talk my mum into it, possibly. Um, if I, next time I go and visit my stepdad, <coughs> next time I go and visit my mum, you will probably see my stepdad because obviously he lives there. And I might see if I can get him on camera and um, the dogs, the mini army that <laughs> my mum and dad have. Um, but and as for other family, no, I doubt it. Um, primarily, like I said, because they don't like cameras in their faces. My friends, some of them are probably be like, yeah, I'm gay. Um, I had a friend of mine. Um, he he does a lot of stop motion and stuff. Because we're actually trying to talk him into getting a YouTube channel. Because he does some pretty cool stuff. And he offered to let me use his lights, but I said to him, I said, at the minute, I said, because the camera's not that good, I can get away with not using professional lights in any sense. But when I get some memory for this little thing, um, the camera on here is a HD camera, so I will probably record it on this once I get some memory for it. And then once I've got that memory, I will. Um, Record using that. Um, last couple of days I've been doing a lot of crafts and um, I've been making earrings. Um, 
um, I'm going to do it all to cross stitch. And I tried my hand at bookbinding today. Um, yes, there is big pieces of airflow, but that's to try and absorb some of the water that it has done there. Um, but yes, it's been proper binded inside, so it's um, relatively, you know, I've made a few mistakes with it, but I'll rectify for the next one. Namely, I think I'll use a bit too much glue. So all my pages are a little bit warped because of the glue. Um, but that's my fault. Um, the card I used isn't thick enough. Again, that's my fault. Um, I didn't have a best card. Um, but it worked out pretty well. Um, the book binding thing was probably what the thing I was worried about. And it's actually the thing that came, turned out the best. Um, I will be doing more coming going forward because there's a couple I've got planned for some friends. Um, one for Jose and one for a couple of, uh, one, a couple of them, some friends I have um, that I really want to do. So I'm going to work on that. I need to get some um, some material as well and some decent card which we'll have to wait until next week when we get some money um, what else? I made some earrings put them on cross stitch doing crochet yeah I'm not very good at crochet yet, but I'm getting there um, I've done corner to corner and I've done um, Single stitch, double stitch, and uh, triple stitch as we call them over here, which are a double stitch, a single stitch, a slip stitch, a single stitch, a double stitch, and then a half double. There's not many stitches, it's in trade. So I've been doing a lot on that. Um, tried to get some stuff ready for next week. Um, I've um, I will pop all the information down in the description for next week's release. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably record some of the um, ins and outs of the preparation for the release um, to help you guys see what an, on an, on an online release entails. Um, I'll also um, I'll also try and do some videos on the forensic side of things uh, because I know a lot of people like they want to know a lot about certain meta cases so I'm going to try and do that for you um, because while I was researching my blog post the other week I found out a few interesting things with regards to the John Monet case um, which actually contradicts a lot of the stuff that's actually in the media primarily because I've got a copy I've managed to find a copy of the autopsy result or autopsy report but like I said that's for a separate video all of its own that I will eventually do um, I think I'll probably try and do that next week but I didn't want to do two heavy videos in a row if you know what I mean because last week's video was a little bit heavy and I did try and have a bit of a laugh with my best so it was a bit awkward on camera. Um, my first go at editing didn't go too bad, um, thank god. <laughs> I was nervous as all hell. Um, but like I say, I'll tr what I'll try and do is I'll try and do some let's plays or I'll try and do some um, some game videos um, as well because like I say, I do, do have a Twitch stream. It's just at the minute because my internet is so crappy. Um, well, it's not the internet, it's the Wi-Fi. Um, the Wi-Fi receiving this laptop is dying. So it's like, it's a lot more headache. So once I get the power line in and I get that set up, I can then stream the out of issue. Thank God. Um, get that installed. I'll get a friend to double check who's great at networking. 
um, just setting up my ways and stuff, so I'll get him to help me finish, make sure everything's right, and get the computer set up, sort of settings right. Um, and then, like I say, I'll be able to stream then. I'll stream several games. Probably the main games will be Sims, EverQuest, and then as time progresses, I might buy a few other games, particularly the horror variety. Um, I do enjoy playing EQ. And that's how I met the hubby, who's actually at work right now. Um, he'll be on his lunch soon. Uh, God, it's 2 30, 10 past 2 in the morning. Jesus Christ. Um, but like I say, I'll put down in the description all the um, the online whereabouts for the release, um, and all my social media will be there on there anyway. Um, if you want me to do a series, say a couple of videos a month on true crimes and going into serial killers and whatnot, let me know and I'll do my best. Um, like I say, I do have a lot of general knowledge on serial killers because I'm a more big cow. That was very good tip. And um, being in the UK, we have had some of the more notorious ones, such as the Wests, Marathon Lee and Ian Brady, um, Dot Shipman, the Jack the Ripper. And there have been a few others as well. One, one which is um, actually from the area I live in, which is Yorkshire Club. It's what we call them. Peter Silk Club. And um, he's in Broadmoor, I think. Um, like I said, well, if you want me to do that, I'll do that. Um, doing it as a forensics point of view rather than a just a general informative point of view where I can actually help you explain to some of you guys how they find the evidence, what they did um, if it was it to happen now particularly with the older cases like the ones I've mentioned with the exception of Harold Shipman are from quite a while ago um, so a lot of the modern day forensics would be easier will make those cases a lot easier. If you want me to do that, I'm happy to. Um, just let me know. Also, if you want me to do crafty videos, um, cross stitch videos, crochet videos, not crochet because I only just started, but anything like that, just let me know. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys next week and. Have fun.